young people, they, they have to make choices. My hope is that the resources that we put in our community, that the young people use this, these resources and guidance to do the right thing. My hope is that these young people divert away from crime and live productive and happy, happy lives. Hi, I'm Stacy K. Ford, and I work with LA County Probation as a probation officer. We, as probation officers working inside the institutions, you know, we're mothers and fathers, we're uncles, we're pastors, you know, we're guidance teachers, and we have to be, you know, sympathetic to the situation that they're in. I believe we have to put ourselves in their shoes and try to understand where they're coming from. And if we can understand where they're coming from, then we can be successful in our approach as we try to help them maneuver through the probation system of rehabilitation. Kids know him. There's just something about him that kids grab, grasp onto. I haven't seen any of the kids be kind of upset with him. Like sometimes they are upset with officers, but Stacy has some sort of magic about him. I think this is his calling. It's not just a job for him. I was a school bus driver for LA Unified School District for 22 years. And then also for 35 years, I was a youth pastor on the borderline of Compton and in Los Angeles. I work with all kinds of kids. Some were gang members and some were not. Some were black, some were brown, and some were white. You know, so I, I work with a variety of young people. And I think being a school bus driver and then a youth pastor prepared me for working in probation. Stacy came into my life at a time where I really needed him. Um, I, I lost my mother at a young age um, and I needed someone to attach myself to. And he was always there whenever I would call him with things that I, I struggled with. Even at times when I may have done things that probably wasn't the right thing, he would show up and he would he would talk me through it and we would, we would have discussion about it. Um, and he, he never made me feel bad about it. He always just reiterated that, you know, it was the opportunity to learn and to grow from from mistakes. And I think there's a lot of things that Stacy did. I, quite frankly, he, he really helped save my life and save me as a, as a young person. We get attached to some of these young people that we're, you know, that we're working with. There's a, a, a kid that I, I connected with. When he got released, I, I gave him, you know, some instructions and guidance and told him, you know, what I wanted him to do. But, you know, life was too hard for him. And he killed himself. You know, when I found out he killed himself, I, you know, I had to leave work. I was devastated. You know, it's it, it's not just a job. It's almost like a, a, a family, you get attached. In 2019, I got sick. I had sinus cancer. And when the doctors told me that my chances of survival didn't look that good, I started looking at all the things that I wanted to accomplish that I didn't. And one of the things that I really wanted to do before I died was to write a book. And so one day I was um, laying in bed and I just started writing about suicide. And I wanted teenagers to know that, you know, no matter how bad it is, it wasn't bad enough to commit suicide. My goal is to give them some direction, to let them know that there's other places to go. There's other places to see outside of your environment. That life is really good. It's, it's, it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to be involved with games. You could, there are other options. It's not an exaggeration to say we put our future in the hands of public service workers like Stacy Ford. Stacy's work in the juvenile justice system transforms lives, putting young people on a more productive path, giving them hope and direction. Stacy is both a firm hand and a shoulder to lean on. He combines compassion with accountability. Most of all, Stacy never, ever quits on the young people in his charge. If you know someone like Stacy, who is always sacrificing to make their community better, visit this website and nominate them for a Never Quit Service Award.